Can I Touch It, which is streaming right now on Netflix. Congratulations on this special. <laughs> it's so good. It's so funny. Thank you. Uh, Thank what's you. the reaction been like? How have, you, how have fans been responding to um, this special? People seem to like it. Mm. I, um, I did get a stalker. <gasps> For reals? I mean, to brag. No, that's cool. Um, <laughs> someone's like obsessed with me. Uh, look, it was, I was a little freaked out. I never had this happen before. This was a guy that just got my number off Reddit and he would call me like 30 times a day. He's like the laziest stalker ever. Didn't even show up in my house, but whatever. <laughs> um, and what happened was the police had to get involved and they were like, look, to get this guy to stop calling you, you just need to talk to him on the phone so he stops wanting to call you. Like, okay, my personality's not that bad. Um, it's just hurtful. Uh, but that's the thing. Apparently, sometimes with stalkers, it's just about the chase, you know? Right. So I got on the phone with this guy, talked to him for a couple minutes. It was kind of weird, but he got off the phone. You were great. What's that? You were great. I was great. <laughs> <laughs> Bradley Whitford's obsessed with me. <laughs> but you, I had to get on the phone with this guy and like talk to him because there was like, this is how you get them to stop, basically. Doesn't call me that night, doesn't call me for four more days, and then the police contacted me and they were like, great news, your stalker has moved on to another public figure. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, who is she? Um, <laughs> I just, I'm not mad. I'm just curious. Like, I just kind of want to know, like, who is this bitch? Like, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just curious. But they wouldn't give me her name. But they had given me the background check report with his name on it. So I just Googled him and I found his Instagram. And then I just went to all the people that he followed, you know? And then I just started seeing, like, whose photos he was liking. So I just did that for a couple months. Um, <laughs> And I've narrowed it down to like two actresses. So. Who are they? So you're you're stalking your own stalker is what's happened. That's the long and short of when this. When you say it like that, it sounds crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't appreciate the way you're twisting it. <laughs> I mean, bro, you have some crazy fans. People, I, I'm sure, all the time come up and talk to you about. The West Wing, other than saying, will you ever reboot the show, which I know people ask you all the time, what's the oh. next thing that people want to know? They always want to know if you could do a West Wing about a conservative Republican White House. And my answer is no, uh, because Republicans aren't funny. Um, <laughs> it's kind of creepy to watch them flirt. Uh, yes. You know what I mean? And yes. the show wouldn't work if at the end of it, CJ and I were like high fiving each other, saying, you know, we're drilling on protected land. Yeah. <laughs> it's a different kind of show. It's a very, very different show. You're yeah. absolutely right. It wouldn't work. I mean, Willie, you worked on the reboot of Roseanne. Is there, what other shows? Do, do, I'd be interested Gotta to bring think that what up. you think. Bradley, which. <laughs> yeah. I'm triggered. <laughs> Are you legally what able other... to talk about it? No. No, but what but other yes. shows? What other shows do you think would be would, would could use a reboot? A reboot? Oh, yeah. cheaters! Is cheaters the one where cheaters? the dudes they bust Cheat. in the house? Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, if you want to know, or they catch if... him in a car or something. Now, if you want to know if someone's cheating on you, you have to like follow them, and you have to you know this is a great way. It's just on TV. You can just see if your guy's on there. Did you not have cheaters in England? No. My eyelashes just, just fell out. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, do you have a question for any of our guests this evening? Uh, yes, yeah, so yes, I do. Tonight's question goes to... <laughs> no, not me. Let's do, let's do all of the guests that we've ever had that what? are here. Uh, do you do you think that uh, if you were if you were able to get the perspective of life as uh, a f from the perspective of a frisbee that's just been thrown, do you think that you would have a constant uh, choice of where you could look, or do you think that rotationally you just see a constant blur? Again, I just someday want to be as high as you are. <laughs> I've said that before. But... No frisbee in the world will be that high. Whitney? Oh, was that a transcript of Terrence Howard at the Emmys? <laughs> wow. Um, actually, it's really crazy, but that is the only answer. That's <laughs> correct. <laughs>